so hope you're all doing well welcome back to the vlogs welcome back to the channel she is going to be in the swing of things moving forward so this week's vlog is going to be a weekly vlog but it's going to be more centered around like paris prep because we go away next week to paris so i'm going to do some packing in this video i'm going to pre-mark today for that essential before you go away anywhere trip to pre-mark because i don't know about anybody else but i always have to go to pre-mark before i go away it's just like the done thing now so i'm actually going today for a couple little basic things i've actually sorted most of my outfits which is good i tried them all on at the start of this week because i've had outfits that i've had for ages that i've not wore and then also some new bits in that i was like i think i can wear that in paris that'll be nice but you know what I mean? when you like piece together outfits in your head and then they always look shit when you try them on i just wanted to like avoid that happening try them on just now to make sure i was happy and actually i've put together some cute little outfits I'm only taking little cabin bags with us so i'm trying to make sure that i'm taking like a lot of basics that i can mix and match just so that i've got an outfit for everything when we get there so i've wrote a little list up all the things i need to get today i need some new grey joggies for traveling and um, just the grey joggies that i always buy i need to get some like, dry shampoo i also need more of the filter finish the collection one so i'm going to go into the boots as well and i also want to pop into zara because i've seen this really nice kind of like asymmetric t-shirt top um, it's not a t-shirt so it's like a kind of like cap sleeve top um, just to wear with one of my outfits. So yeah, I kind of got a rough idea of what I'm looking for. But I thought I would start this vlog today, take us to Primark, have a wee look and see what's new in. I'm also doing a little TikTok because if you didn't know I'm a TikToker now, I'm obsessed with TikTok, I'm bored with Instagram. TikTok's where it's at in my opinion now. Um, so yeah, of course I'm going to pick up my mum because it wouldn't be a trip to Primark without my mammy. And we're going to go and get a lovely little Starbucks before we go. And yeah, just have a really nice girly Friday trip to Primark. So yeah, if you want to see what I got in this vlog, do a little bit of prep for Paris with me, pack with me, have a little Primark haul and the whole shebang, then just keep them on. Just thought I'd give you a little fit check before we run out the door. I have actually lived in this full leather trench from P. PLT all winter long. Obviously everyone's saying it's like now coming into spring um, and all the spring fashion etc but it's still absolutely freezing outside so I feel like I'll get away with the leather trench for a little bit longer. If it is too warm I do actually just have this really nice marrow grey matching tracksuit. This is from Girl Knows All. I actually have to get a little picture in this so I'll do that whilst I'm out and then I've just got my green New Balance on. If you don't own a pair of New Balance then you must because honestly I love him. me now home from my lovely little shopping day. I've also just had a wee visit from Chester as I was coming in. Um, Kel and Fiona were out a walk and they seen me and they brought the dog down to say hi and it's just made my day because I absolutely love theft but that is not what you're here for. You're here to see the pre-mark haul I'm sure. I also got some bits from Zara and I also have just had a little ASOS order arrive when I was out so I thought I would just show you everything. I'm actually really pleased with the bits that I got. So I've got one big bag here but the first thing I'm going to show you is my gorgeous new suitcase. I've been needing a new little travel case for a while now. I have a white one that I absolutely like and I've had for ages but you know that way when you have a white suitcase and it gets battered about and it gets covered in marks. That's now what my white suitcase now looks like and I have a black one but the handles broke on it so like it doesn't go down or when it does go down it's like really stiff so I was needing a new suitcase and this one was only £28. I absolutely love how it looks and it's the perfect size for us going away in our little city prep. So super excited about my new suitcase. First up little boring perches obviously we're going away I'm not going to take my electric toothbrush so I just picked up a pack of these. We've quite a lot of like weekends away and trips away for weddings and stuff this year so I just thought I would buy a pack of these because we'll definitely go through them between the two of us. Saw these at the counter and I absolutely love using my Elemis Cleansing Balm and these little reusable pads are so good. They work really, really well with that. So I'm planning to take my little mini rose Elemis Cleansing Balm with me um, to Paris. Obviously, it's hand luggage we're taking, so everything obviously needs to be under 100 mils. So I got these little reusable pads to use with my cleansing balm when I'm away. 
these are really good for taking your makeup off and I like the little string bag that they come in, I thought that was super cute and these were only £2, yep, yeah, £2. Now if you've followed my channel for a while you'll know that I used to have a bit of a problem when it came to the Primark jewellery section, I used to buy about 45 pairs of hoop earrings every time I went in and probably for the last year I've really cut down on that, like I don't go and buy the hoop earrings or the jewellery the same way but because we are going away obviously I want some new little jewellery bits and things to dress up my outfits so I went and got this little pack of rings. Um, I thought this was really, really cute. I especially love the two rope ones. Obviously, this is a kind of thick rope one and then this is a thinner one. Then I only got one pair of hoop earrings, but I absolutely love this style because obviously it looks like you're wearing three earrings rather than just like one hoop. And I do obviously now have like three piercings on one side, so I feel like these earrings are going to look quite cool, especially if I'm wearing my hair up. I do plan to wear my hair up maybe one of the days, so I thought these earrings would be cute for that. They were £2.50. And the last little piece of jewellery I picked up is this necklace. I don't own anything like this. It's obviously it's kind of like a structured choker necklace. I just thought it would look nice layered with my other necklaces and it also looks super expensive and it was only £3.50. Next up we have some Charlotte Tilbury dupes. They had loads and loads of bits in the Charlotte Tilbury section. I'm already obsessed and rave about the Charlotte Tilbury kind of like beauty wand dupes that Primark do. I absolutely love them. I did get the contour wand recently. Um, I haven't actually used the Charlotte Tilbury version of that to compare it against that but if I'm honest I don't love it. I think it's a bit muddy and it's quite hard to blend out so I don't know if like the Charlotte Tilbury is similar to that. But the Primark one I don't love. I definitely don't love that as much as I love the blushes that they do. So with blushes in mind I decided to pick up two of their new cream blushes. These ones are obviously more like in the pans. So I got this one here. First off they've nailed the packaging. It is very similar to Charlotte Tilbury and that is the blush colour there. This is the colour peach. I haven't tried these so obviously I can't give you a review but I will try them out soon. I'll probably use them in a reel or a TikTok so I'll give you reviews of them then. And then this one here is actually my mum's but I asked her if I could take it home so that I could show you guys this one because this colour is lovely as well. It's a wee bit more muted than the other one I just showed you but still really really pretty. Then we have a Charlotte Tilbury dupe for mascara. Again I Actually, this is a Mama Linda purchase. I actually didn't get this. So yeah, I'm going to see how my mum gets on with this. And if this is good, I will, of course, pick this up at some point as well. And then you cannot go to Primark without getting a lip gloss. These are only £2.50. I'm saying these are only £2.50, but I swear, like, lip glosses in Primark used to be, like, 99p. Um, so everywhere is definitely getting more expensive. These ones might be a bit more expensive because they're obviously, like, Charlotte Tilbury dupes. Uh, but the colour is absolutely gorgeous. This is the colour. For some reason, I cannot see a colour name on this but I'll give you a little close up in case you want to go and pick it up and store yourself. So that's it for the makeup bits. Now on to some of the clothes that I picked up. These are just basics. Like I said before I went I had a list of basics that I wanted to get. So there's nothing overly exciting but I feel like Primark really do nail their basics. So I got a new black bodysuit but I don't know if you can see that. This is like a stretchy rib material. It's super thick and expensive feeling. It's also a really nice neckline. I like my bodysuits to sit kind of high on the neck. I hate when they're like low and scoop under. It also looks like it's going to sit nice on the arms as well and it was only £7 so you can't go wrong with that. Then I got another high neck black bodysuit but this one is actually cap sleeved. I don't really like sleeveless or cap sleeve things. I tend to wear a little long sleeve things. This one's just a really soft cottony material and this one was £6. Now this item was a little bit more expensive but it's in this new range from Primark which is called the Primark Edit and it's 100% cotton and oh my goodness I just wish you could reach through and feel how soft and thick this material is. It's obviously a white top and it's definitely not see-through. I feel like I'll be able to wear a bra and everything with this, no bother, and you won't. Well, you, if it's nude coloured, obviously you shouldn't be able to see anything through it, but it's so thick, it really feels expensive so it was a little bit more expensive than some of the other basics to do this one was 14 pounds my mum actually picked this up in black i got a white one as i'm kind of needing some new like white basics um, and i'd already picked up those other ones that were black so yeah primark nailing the basics as always i can't remember if i said before i left that i was looking for the marrow gray joggers but they didn't have my size so what i decided to do was get the black set instead this is just for traveling to paris and honestly the joggers are just so comfy they do start to bobble if you wear them a lot like i wear mine today Death. Um, but with that being said the joggers are only seven pounds i get a large as i love the fit of them they're a wee bit more baggy around my legs in the large and because they've got the drawstring waist it's dead easy to like cinch them in so i got the black joggers and then i also got a black hoodie i can't decide if i'm going to crop this or not i was thinking about maybe like cutting it shorter but i haven't fully decided yet so i'm going to try everything on on monday then i'll decide from there if i'm going to cut this short this was only eight pounds i already have these joggies and i also have a sweater in this material and honestly i wear it constantly.
constantly. So that was the last little bit of clothing I picked up. Then I spotted this really gorgeous scarf. I mean, how expensive does that look? And basically what I'm thinking is because a lot of my outfits are really plain, I've also got like a black um, blazer outfit I'm thinking about wearing on one of the days, like a black kind of trouser suit. Um, and I thought maybe throwing this on around my neck might be quite nice. Or the other idea is I'm going to tie this around my bag because I absolutely love the colours and adding little things like this to your outfit can just really elevate it. Especially if it's all black, I just feel like it can add a little bit of something something. And this scarf was only £4 and the only home item that I actually picked up but... I mean, we all know by now, I love a mug. I've actually not bought any mugs for a while now since obviously I went on a bit of a spree before Christmas. But look how cute is this? Like, I couldn't not pick this up. The handle is perfect. I love the size of it. It's perfect for like a big coffee in the morning. And I just love the detail on it. They did also have this in like a lilac-y colour. And they also had lots of like kind of pretty blues and pinks. But... You know, I'm a neutral girl. I'm not adding any of those crazy colours into the house. So, of course, I went for the white. And this mug was only £3.50, which, if you see the ones that are on Amazon that are, like, £20 and look exactly like this, then get that out your basket and head to Primark and pick yourself up one of these because it's absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to have my coffee out of this tomorrow morning. Next up, I popped to Zara at the four on the way home because how annoying, if you're from Glasgow, you'll probably think this as well, but like the Brayhead Shopping Centre, that's one of my favourite shopping centres to go to because I absolutely love the pre-mark in there. That was a pre-mark that I got all these bits from if you're interested. Um, but I just think that's a really good shopping centre. It's dead easy to get parts, it's dead easy to get to. There's also Starbucks because you have to get Starbucks for your shopping trip. But the only thing I find is the shops are lacking. They don't have a Zara there. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. But nonetheless, we just went to the Fort on the way home. Which, in saying that, why does the Fort not have a Primark? Can somebody answer that question? Because I feel like the Fort would really benefit from having a Primark. I mean, the Fort's always absolutely rammed. Which so I don't really get because the shops aren't brilliant there either. Um, but if they're a Primark, I would understand it. I feel like that needs to happen soon. And do know that they've got a big massive Zara coming soon there. So, But now I'm rambling rather than showing you the really nice wee basic tops that I got. So today was all about basics. I feel like every time I do go shopping, it is about basics. And I was looking for a new white top. Um, I feel like I picked out some black ones. But then I seen this top and I had to get it in white and black because I just loved the cut of this. So it's this little top here. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. But it's got this ruching down the front and then also on the sides. Camera just really died there but I was just saying that I'm hoping this top is going to sit kind of just on the waist and then the trousers will just meet. Um, obviously because it's got the ruching I probably can like pull it up or like pull it down. That's the hope anyway. So I got it in white. This was 12 99 and then I also picked it up in black. So I'm actually going to go and try on some of my outfits now. Um, oh, wait a minute, I need to show you the trousers that I got. So I placed an ASOS order the other day for these suit trousers that I've had my eye on for a little while. They're actually Stradivarius trousers, but I got them on ASOS. Oh, that's a lovely colour of grey. So I'll pop a full picture up of them just so you can see exactly what they look like. But it's these kind of like overturned waist trousers. I absolutely love how these look. So I picked them up in the grey and then I also got them in black. That's them in the black as well. Like I said, they're quite hard to show so I've really popped up some pictures of them. So I'm actually going to go and try on some of my outfits. I also got a Club London delivery so I'm going to try that one as well and it's Friday night tonight so it's a chill night. Me and Chris have been watching Yellowstone which if you haven't seen it's so so good. Definitely recommend. Also for a series the episodes are quite long so you can't like binge it all at once if that makes sense. Like nothing annoys me more than like a series with episodes that are literally like 35-40 minutes because before you know it's like the episodes in you they're so quick whereas these episodes are a little bit longer and honestly it's just a really good programme. So yeah if you're looking for anything new I definitely recommend that. But I'm going to go now I probably won't speak to you until Monday when I'm kind of sorting my stuff out because this is going to be a Paris video, Paris prep video. I do have an appointment at Joe Malone on... Thursday so I'll probably take these with me to that but it's not going to be like vlog style like every day this week it's just going to be more like organising for my trip away. I'm getting a blow dry in the morning before we go to Paris as well so I'm going to take you there because it's a new salon so I'm looking forward to going and getting a wee blow dry. Um, I haven't had a blow dry in ages so yeah that'll be a nice little treat. But yeah I hope you enjoyed that come to Primark with me and I will speak to you when I speak. It's quite a few days later now since we started the prep for Paris so I'm actually going to pack my case with you today. I've actually sorted all my outfits out. I did a a quick run through of everything yesterday um, my mum came and I tried everything on obviously because it's a city break I'm trying to like not overpack and make sure that like 
I'm like re-wearing my jacket so I was kind of just trying to figure everything out but yeah I managed to sort all of that yesterday so now it's just time to get packing you'll probably see my tripod set up in the background because of course I'm filming a little kind of pack with me for TikTok as well so I am multitasking should point out that I have curled my hair with the straightener today because I was trying to decide if I could just take my straighteners and then like do my hair kind of like flicky straight the first day and then have the option to curl it but yeah I think I'm gonna have to take my straighteners and my curlers because I'm really not enjoying how these curls have come out. They're just too, almost like too perfect looking. When I curl my hair, I like them to be quite beachy and soft. I did these curls ages ago and they don't seem to be dropping. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pack both a straightener and a curler. So fingers crossed I'm gonna have room for both of them. But yeah, let's get this packing done. I am super prepared because it is Tuesday and we don't go until Friday. I'm actually getting like so excited now. I was texting Stephanie earlier just about um, like our dinner plans and like going to Disney and stuff. So yeah, getting really excited. I'm going to stop this rambling and get to packing my case. Okay, so I actually just went ahead and filmed my little pack with me for my TikTok because it was getting a little confusing trying to like do the sped up version for my TikTok, but I actually want to go more in depth and just kind of show you what I'm taking with me and yeah, kind of how I pack my case. So this little case is the one that I got from Primark the other day. It was £28 and honestly, I am so chuffed with how it looks. I feel like it just looks so, so expensive and also just from that little trial run there of packing bits away um, I can fit a lot in the case so that is really good. I'll just tilt the camera down for when I am actually packing and I'll also show you some of the key pieces that I am taking with me. Okay first piece that I'm so excited to take with me and also really excited to show you this little vest from Inspired Source. Obviously it has a little Prada logo on there. This is obviously just a dupe but the quality is so lovely. It is so so soft. So I'm planning to wear this either during the day with my suit trousers or at night with the blazer that I'm going to show you. Um, it's going to be very matchy matchy but I love it and it's also a really nice fit so I got that from Inspired Source. And then the next piece I'm about to show you, best believe I'm going to have this on constantly. Like I have a trusty black blazer just now that I wear all the time, it's the one I always reach for. So much so that I feel like it's getting a bit grubby and I was on the lookout for a new blazer. And then I got this gorgeous one from, is it Deluxus? I think it's called Deluxus. I'll put their Instagram up here because I've probably just totally butchered that name. But they do a lot of reworked vintage blazers. Um, they also do like two pieces and shirts. And honestly, I am chuffed to bits with the lovely jacket that she kindly sent me. So you're not going to be able to probably get the full idea of me just kind of showing it just now, holding it up. But I'm going to be vlogging when I'm in Paris. So I'll make sure that I get some like outfits of the nights. I'm also going to be doing all of my kind of outfits of the days and, and, and outfits of the nights on TikTok. So make sure you follow me over there. But it's got the little Prada logo on here it's got a really nice shoulder pad it also kind of like nips in at the waist it's just a really nice fitting blazer so i'm so chuffed about this that is part of my nighttime outfits and also my daytime outfits i was really trying this time when i was going to be not to wear an oversized blazer but I just love an oversized blazer. A suit vibe is just what I love to wear. So I've decided to get out of my head and just wear what I want to wear. I've got really nice trousers to wear with these as well and a little lacy bra. So that is going to be my Saturday night outfit. That's the night we're going out. We're actually going to Coco Paris, which I'm so excited. I have had this saved on Instagram for ages. The last time I went to Paris, I couldn't get a booking, but I made sure I made the booking really early this time. Um, so yeah, we're going there. The decor looks beautiful. They have live singers and the food looks delicious. So really excited to go there on Saturday today and this is going to be my little outfit. little packing tip for you is I'm sure a lot of people already do this but I roll everything in my case. I find that you fit everything much easier and it also means that when you get to the very end everything isn't totally creased. Um, of course I will have to re-iron some of the bits but yeah it just makes your life a lot easier. So I'm going to wear these trousers I think on Saturday during the day. I like to pre-plan my outfits like I said I tried everything on yesterday um, and I obviously have an itinerary and like kind of roughly know what we're doing each day. So I like to then decide kind of day to day what I'm going to wear. So this is going to be my Saturday outfit. I've also filmed a full style video of outfit ideas for going on city breaks. I'm not actually wearing all of the outfits that I put together because we don't actually have that many days there. Um, so I don't need that many outfits. But that video kind of shows you how you can take only a few kind of basic pieces but like 
re-wear them and mix and match them so that you end up getting lots of outfits out of it. That is honestly the key to packing is make sure you try everything on before you go and kind of get an idea of like mixing and matching. I also like to take pictures of my outfits. I know some people probably think that's quite sad but it means when I get there I know right okay on the Saturday I'm wearing this and I'm using that bag and it's those shoes. Especially when it's a city break and you've got small luggage it just means you're a bit more organised. Also if you're like me and you like to feel good in yourself and if you don't sometimes it can like stress you out and make you flustered. Um, doing this just makes you avoid all of that. It just ensures that you feel good in all your clothes, everything fits right, you've not got any issues and you've got the right underwear and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm blabbering. So this is my Saturday day outfit. So I got these little kind of turned over waist detail trousers from ASOS. They are a really nice fit, really nice length. Obviously I am short, I'm five foot three and they fit really nice. So I'm going to wear these Saturday during the day. I'm just going to wear them with a little cap sleeve bodysuit that I got from Primark and then I'm going to take my dunks with me. I am actually wearing my New Balance Travelling and then I'm going to take my dunks in my bag just so again I can mix and match my shoes and that kind of makes outfits look a little bit different. Also the coat that I'm wearing on Saturday is the coat that I'm travelling in so I don't need to put that in my case. Then I've got a pair of leather trousers. So the plan for leather trousers is on the Sunday we're going to go to Disney. Now we don't know if we're going to go to Disney and stay there like all day, watch the fireworks and stuff and then come home and just have a casual dinner so we might not even get changed for dinner but if we do come back early and we do decide to go out for dinner it's going to be a more casual dinner than the Saturday night so I was thinking what I'll do is wear my Prada blazer again maybe with the little Prada top because it's a bit more dressier put the leather trousers on I can put my heels on if we're going fancy and if we're not going fancy I'll just put my dunks on so yeah you can see from there that I'm basically just kind of rewearing things and reworking them and my plan is basically just to like switch my hair up switch my jewellery up maybe put a red lip on you know, just so it looks a wee bit fancier. So yeah, you're probably getting the gist that I'm mix and matching a lot, but I just wanted to show you some of those little key pieces that I'm taking with me. I've got my New Balance I'm going to travel in. You'll see my travel outfit and everything on the actual Paris vlog. I'll make sure I show you that before I go to the airport. But yeah, now I'm going to get to packing because I want to be nice and organised. Like I said, it is Tuesday, but we go Friday and Friday I'm getting a blow dry and I just want to be relaxed and not worrying that nothing fits in my case, blah, blah, blah. And I'm also going to sort my makeup bag, but what I'll do is I'll sort my makeup bag and just set it at the side. So obviously I'm going to be wearing my makeup this week, um, but it just means I don't have to kind of last minute pack all that because in my old age, I like to be super organized. It's now Thursday, we go to Paris tomorrow night and I think I did mention that obviously this is going to be a Paris prep video. I think I did mention that I was invited along to Jo Malone in Glasgow. I'm having a little day out today with my mum. We haven't really been out and about in Glasgow in ages. Obviously I went to Primark last week but that was just a wee trip to Brayhead. So I'm quite looking forward to going around the shops, going to the Jo Malone. It's her new spring scent I believe so I'm quite excited to go and try that. Have a little look at some of the makeup in the house of Fraser and then you know go to Zara maybe we wander an H&M and then go somewhere nice for a coffee so that is our plan for today as always I'll take you with me I've actually done my makeup different today and I got one of those Trigwell powder puffs that are going viral on TikTok finally caved and got one because I just feel like my under eyes are horrendous sometimes um, I always get really kind of big bulgy eye bags and sometimes they're worse than others but I don't know I feel like I can definitely still see one here but I feel like it's definitely helped with putting my powder on properly and I was trying out some new like techniques for my makeup for going to Paris because I feel like I thrive in the summer with makeup because it's all about glowy skin and like minimal makeup but then see like at this time of year when you wear a wee bit more I don't know sometimes it just doesn't sit right on my face so yeah I've been playing a bit of my makeup this week and I think I've kind of finally got a nice base that I'm enjoying so I will at some point maybe do that in another vlog or maybe do an updated makeup routine because I'm quite enjoying this whole combo i did actually film it from my tiktok i feel like all i do is go on about tiktok but yeah if you want to see it before you see it on here then go and follow me on tiktok but i've got to go now because i'm running late
need to do this really quickly as my camera looks like it's about to run out of charge but I am heading for my blow dry this is the last part of the Paris prep so I'll switch to my phone and I'll vlog I'm going to a new salon it's called Soho 7 looks so aesthetic um, and I'm really excited to get my hair blow dried also need to update these because our flight to Paris tonight has actually been cancelled and we're now going tomorrow morning but <laughs> I'll update you when I get in So my camera has died so I'm just quickly filming this on my phone but I'm just out of the Soho 7 salon and oh my goodness guys I don't think I've ever been in a salon so gorgeous in like my whole life. It was so aesthetic, the girls are lovely in there, I got a stunning coffee, Tabitha did my hair, she was really informative, she told me loads about like the products she was using, recommended me shampoos and this is my curly blow dry so I'm going to take this out just before we go to the airport so probably like two three o'clock in the morning um and then it'll probably just drop throughout the day but if you're looking to try a new salon even if it's just to go and get a blow dry they also actually do makeup they do nails they do massages they do wood therapy what else do they do they do like anything you can think of like they do it in the salon it was honestly just such a treat and i really enjoyed myself as you can tell i'm like really quite buzzing i really enjoyed my little morning so if you want to see how my blow dry looks you'll have to watch the paris vlog because i'm going to just keep these pink curls in until the morning me and chris are actually going to go and get a coffee um, since it's a really sunny day it's freezing but it's a sunny day um so yeah he's probably gonna be mortified that i'm walking out with these on my head but i was saying that's the girl in there i'm 28 this year i really don't care anymore like i would be mortified back in the day no i don't care now i'm like when i'm standing here tomorrow so so yeah i just had to come on and rave about the salon because yeah that was a lovely experience and obviously if you're paying money for a blow dry then you want it to be the best and you want to have a really nice time um and that ticked all the boxes for me so yeah definitely recommend i will pop their instagram here in case you're interested in going good morning loves it is currently just before 4 a.m and we're up for our flight um, I didn't get a chance yesterday to fill you in, but basically there were airstrikes at the Charles de Gaulle airport last night. So on Thursday we got an email to say that our, our flight had basically been cancelled. So we had to do a kind of quick turnaround and book ourselves on to the flight this morning instead. Which actually was what we had originally were going to book because um, it gets you in super early. Our flight's at 7 o'clock but we get there just before 9 o'clock in the morning. So we're not losing any time in Paris, which is really good. Um, but yeah, it just means we're up at this time, which I feel like I saw every hour on the clock last night. But I'm just about to take my hair out. Okay, it might look a little bit wild just now, but I have never had this much like lift and volume in my hair. And Tabitha said as the day goes on, like my hair will just kind of drop and go more flicky. And yeah, this will last me for quite a few days. So, so I'm not going to really do too much to it just now. I'm just going to start doing my makeup and then I'll play about with that a bit more before I head to the airport. Okay, so when the makeup is done, I haven't actually done anything to my hair. I'm just letting it drop, but I'm loving how much volume I have. I've put my outfit on for the airport. And yeah, that is us ready to go. So I'm going to leave this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching the little Paris prep video. And yeah, if you want to see what we got up to in Paris, I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can. So that'll be the next video after this. I'll show you a quick little snippet in the mirror of my outfit. And yeah, then we are heading to the airport. And here is the outfit. I'll pop all the links for everything that I can below. And yeah, I'll see you in Paris.